This is the all new 2017 Honda Ridgeline. It's Honda's latest mid-sized truck and the first one they've had in the range for a few years now. Now, if you remember the original Ridgeline, it was a love it or hate it truck. Some people really liked the distinctive looks and the car-like driving experience and some people couldn't get past that controversial exterior. Now, the, for the 2017 Ridgeline, uh, Honda's toned down some of those unusual styling cues. Uh, you get a more pilot-like front end, you still get the incredibly practical rear end, and there's an awful lot of features in it which should make this as easy as driving just about anything from Honda's passenger car liner. Carried over from the original Ridgeline is this, this incredibly flexible tailgate. Now, just like any pickup, you can open it the normal way. It's pretty heavy, but there's a good reason for that, because if I closed up again, it has a special hinge inside which allows me to then open it all the way like this. And while I've got it open, I'll show you the Ridgeline's second special feature. Underneath the floor, there is a full, massive trunk, basically. And this is works basically like you would use the trunk of your car. You can lock independently. Um, it's big enough for an 82 litre cooler. You can fill it with ice. You can put a person inside if you really wanted to. I'm not going to ask you why you're doing that. Um, it's waterproof, so you can put all your drinks in. And then there's a drainage plug at the back, so you can let all that water drain away later. So it's a really secure way of storing your groceries, storing your bags, if, while still getting the flexibility of a pickup. And you can get things like these molded in hooks for shopping bags to make sure they don't go rocking around. There are plenty of features in the bed as well. So one of them is down here, you have this panel here. You can open it up and inside on the higher end models, you get a full 400 watt outlet. And you can use that to power anything up to a, a big widescreen TV for uh, the football game, for instance. If you'd rather listen to music, built into the sides and the rear are actuators, um, which work to basically give in-bed audio. So you can hit a button on the head unit inside and all of a sudden the music starts coming out of the rear of the truck. So that's great if you're at a party, if you're tailgating, if you've gone camping, for instance, and it can be cranked up really, really loud. Now, some of that might seem a bit gimmicky, but it, you'll be happy to know Honda has all of the practical bases covered as well, just as you'd expect from a, a mid-sized truck. So, the load floor in the bed here is completely flat and you can put a, a full 5x8 uh, piece of plywood in there without worrying about it warping. Uh, you've got plenty of really strong tow hooks here to la lash down anything that you might need to. And it's got some of the, the broadest and deepest, flattest uh, storage capacity of, of its segments. In fact, it's a, a segment leader, Honda says, uh, for things like being able to, to fit unwieldy items. Uh, it's increased in size over the uh, last Ridgeline, um, and it's pushing the envelope for what you'd expect from a mid-sized truck, even though it doesn't necessarily drive like one. The practicality doesn't end in the bed either. If you follow me in here into the interior of the truck, there are a couple of really interesting features too. This rear bench seat, for instance, seats three, but it's also got a 60-40 split, and if I pull a handle on the side, it'll lift all the way up. And if you do that for the full length of the car, you can fit a full TV complete in its box. You could fit a bike with both wheels still attached. Um, you can either put, there's room for a bag of golf clubs down here and you can lower the seats down, keep them secure, and still not sacrifice on any leg room. Now, there's plenty of storage space up here in the front too. You have lots of door moldings with spaces for your phone and bottles. You've got more cup holders in the center console as well as places for your phone to go. And in the middle you have this broad flat area here which you can use to uh, store takeout food for instance, as well as a big, deep container there to put candy in or a map or even an iPad. There's plenty going on here on the dashboard too. You've got a full colour screen here for status for the driver. In the centre console you have a, an 8 inch capacitive touchscreen for your navigation and that supports Apple CarPlay and Google's Android Auto. There's a bigger screen than you'll find in most of the mid-sized truck competition. Plenty of shortcut buttons and controls on the steering wheel too, ranging everything from your lane keeping, which is active assist as part of Honda Sensing, uh, your adaptive cruise control, and obviously control over all of your different infotainment features. And there's plenty of inputs as well. You get an auxiliary input and a single USB in the entry level trucks. And as you move up through the range, you add more USB ports in the back for powering and recharging gadgets. Driving. Thank well, you. Well Off road. Trucking.
Now, when Honda was designing the 2017 Ridgeline, they had a cunning plan, and that was basically give the people what they want. And to find out what they wanted, they ran various focus groups, mainly of people who had owned a Ridgeline before, or perhaps still owned a Ridgeline, or who were thinking about buying a mid-sized truck, and they asked them what they wanted from a mid-sized truck, and it turned out they wanted a two-wheel drive option as well as all-wheel drive, and so the 2017 Ridgeline has a two-wheel drive option. They wanted a better quality interior, and so the 2017 Ridgeline has lots of squidgy plastic on the dashboard and higher quality feeling trim. Uh, they wanted better fuel economy and so the three and a half litre V6 engine is better fuel economy. And they wanted um, a truck that looked a little bit more the part and so they got rid of some of the more awkward external design features and they replaced them with a, a combination of say the Pilot and, and a more traditional truck profile. People wanted a more refined truck too, and so Honda increased the amount of sound insulation and dampening, which means that you cut out an awful lot of the road noise that you might otherwise get in a regular midsize. And how much does all this cost? Well, the new Ridgeline actually starts from just under $30,000. An interesting fact, that's actually $100 less than the 2015 Ridgeline cost when Honda last sold it in 2014. Now that's for the two-wheel drive version, and if you want the all-wheel drive version, you're looking at about $1,800 more at each of the different trim points. 